Hello everyone, this is Simrex, and welcome back to the Minecraft Freestyle Survival Guide. So I am standing here in front of a little experiment I was working on. I saw a video, it popped up on YouTube and my recommended from a small creator's uh, mine farm. This is a fully automatic oak farm. Basically, it works off of a couple mechanics in the game that I didn't know existed, which is... When you bone mill moss, you have a chance to get a flowering azalea. And then, when you bone mill a flowering azalea, it only takes one piece of bone mill to grow an entire tree. So this is the start of a fully automatic, and by fully automatic, I mean really automatic. You don't have to stand there and plant saplings. You don't have to do anything but just make sure it has bone mill. But it is fully automatic tree farm. So this is just a test version I built up. I uh, did modify things from what he did just a tad for this side. In that I put these two observers on some pistons so they weren't just constantly clicking. And then routed them into the power switch for the whole system. I think I might be out of bone mill somewhere. One of those clicks sounds a little... I am in that one. Anyway, this is what we're going to be working on today. And I've got a spot picked out for it. I haven't cleared it out yet. And also a very full inventory. So I'm going to cut away, go clear my inventory out, clear out our spot, which is over here, behind those trees. And then I'll be right back with you guys. Alright, so here's a little spot. We'll probably take some of these trees out later, but I think this will be good. The collection system is going to be down in that cave. I thought we might utilize that a little bit. I actually think we might peel one more layer of dirt off of here. And there's zombies somewhere. I have no idea where they're at. As long as they don't mess with me, though. Good. Alright, so this is where we're going to start building at. And... See if I got any cobblestone. I want to keep this as natural looking over here as I can. So the way you're going to start this is you're going to get some moss blocks. And I think we'll put it about right here. Ought to be good. Pretty centered. Yeah, it's pretty close to center. And need a moss block there. You can put one down temporary. Then you need one there. And a temporary there, and a temporary there. And you get your dispensers, and you're going to place a dispenser facing that way, and that way, and a dispenser right here on the side. Whoops. Face that one the wrong way. And then these temp blocks can just be taken out. Alright, so the next thing I want to do so they don't make a bunch of noise is go ahead and get our servers in place for our observer clock. We'll do that real quick. And then we got to figure out our sticky pistons. That's going to be all the way extended. So it should be... Grab sticky piston. Oh, I've got them on me already. Okay, that's good. One facing up under that observer, one facing up under that observer. And for temporary purposes, we're just going to power both of these. I should say we can do that with a lever. There we go. Pull that one down. Pull that one down. Okay, now they're all quiet. The thing we're going to do here is grab a little bit of glass and we're going to put a piece of glass above this. So this one will be temporary and these two will be permanent. Go ahead and take that one out and I'm just using that as a temporary block. We're going to put a regular piston right on top of this guy. Then we're going to put a 6x2 stack of pistons right up here. And I've got my piston in the wrong place there. Let's uh, do that again. 
Don't block. Piston on top facing that way. Don't block and come out. Now we can put our double stack of sticky pistons. Alright, and on top of these sticky pistons we need to put logs. And now we can start getting into the redstone for this, which is... It's simple redstone, it's nothing complicated. You're going to start at the top row and you want solid blocks every other row of piston. So we're going to start at the top and then on the back of this single regular piston as well. We're going to grab a little bit of glass out of here because it's the next thing we're going to use. We use this to get our signal up to the top and I really think I'm just going to have to take this tree out. And where in the world are all these mobs at? They must be underneath me in the cave somewhere. Got to be down there. They really get annoying. I think I'm going to take them guys out. Ooh! Is there a zombie spawner down here? Alright, let's shed some light on the situation down here. Because, man, that was getting annoying. Okay, with the mob distraction out of the way and those guys taken care of, we can get back to our project here. Alright, now glass. You need glass on the outside of each one of these. First, you need glass on the back of this one, this one, this one, this one. Okay, and that's what your glass should look like once it's set up. Oh, I lost a piece up there. Alright, next thing is redstone. You're going to put redstone on all these blocks and on the top of every single glass. And then this is a good time to check, guys, to make sure that you got it right. If you put a little line there and power this, you could fire all those pistons. You just run around the front, make sure every piston is extended. Pick this one under here too. All good. Now this part's optional, but I'm going to build a little smooth stone pad here and put our redstone on smooth stone so it just looks nice. You know, a couple redstone dust there and there, and then a repeater here. Whoops. A repeater here on four ticks. Another redstone dust right here. And then five more repeaters. All on four ticks. Sorry, four more repeaters. All on four ticks. A repeater going into the back of that dispenser on two. Another redstone dust right here. And then over here is where you're going to build the rest of your circuit. Okay, so right here we've got directly off of this redstone line we've got one, two, three blocks with an open space there. We're going to take some repeaters, and all these are again going to be on four ticks, and so we're going to put them facing this direction in front of each block. And then back into what's going to be the empty block. And again, all these are on four ticks. Right here, you need a hole with an observer facing with its back up, so like that, with the redstone part up, then a slime block here, another sticky piston out the back of it, and if you power this right here, okay, so I had a little mistake on there, you actually have to put a blank space here, because you're Bomb block will stick to it, but then it'll go forward and grab your observer. So now we have it powered on. Of course, we don't have any bone meal in anything yet. But that's our timing all set up. That's our redstone pretty much all set up except for one little thing. And we're going to have to make a little bit of space for that and probably take care of this guy. All right, so you're going to come over here to your two sticky pistons that have your servers connected to them for the clock. I still hear another pillager, but he's not messing with us. I'm going to get a couple repeaters out of the inventory. Repeater there, repeater there, and a line of redstone dust. Here, 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 here. Take that out one more so we hit the right place. 
and that turns on the entire farm. All the dispensers. That was something that uh, Mon Farm didn't do, and he was asking for suggestions on Facebook about how to make it better. Buddy, this is what I would suggest, because you didn't put anything in to shut these observers off. And if you build this on a server, that could cause some lag. Not only that, if you're standing here, and you're doing something else and don't want that running, that's just annoying. Alright, so we can get to the next part of this here, which is going to be the collection system. So I'm going to make us a little space here. Empty my inventory again, go get the things we need to build the collection system, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I probably might have forgot a couple things, but we can go ahead and start where we're going to have it. Counted out the amount of blocks between there and here. That's 12 right there. Then our trees are going to be within that boundary right there. In this space, we're going to have ENT duplicator above us, and probably some water sources going down to some hoppers. So let's figure that out. All right, water sources, and we're going to put our hoppers underneath our water sources at the very end. So we're going to have one point that way for collection. We'll go ahead and take that out. Next top, we're going into it, and three and four over here. And most likely, what we should do is put in one more hopper here. We're going to need obsidian around this. So these are going to be obsidian. Or should be good. If not, I'll replace it with obsidian. And then let's go ahead and put in a chest down there. I'm probably going to have to make. And I forgot I had bad omen. And I flew over to get some more smooth stone to make a floor here. And I accidentally triggered a rate because I flew too close to the iron farm where all the villagers are. Something if he messes with me, I'm good. I don't think anything can get to those villagers. They should be safe up there. I'm going to put in a little floor here. Now we have a basic outline of where our city needs to go. We'll mark that with our sticky piston because that's what's going to go there. Got enough building blocks. I should be able to jump up and down as needed. Here. Down that one. Take out that, that, that. Our slon block these out. Slon block there. Gonna want our actual. Duplicator on the other side of this. We'll work our way around. All right, and I'm building it in reverse to what I typically do, so hopefully I can put this together the correct way in reverse. That goes there. We need a slime block there. Right? No. I might have to build this up the way I normally build it. Getting confused already. I do know that it needed roughly right here. So I fill that in. Get our first. We have to go this way. We have to go this way, don't we? We got to have that on cart facing north south. Yeah, we have to go this direction. All right. Right. Uh, right here, I guess. So, there, there, there. TNT, coral fan. Okay. Two. I accidentally took out the coral fan. Wall block on top of there. 
of our wall block with four slimes, slime, slime, and slime. Get our sticky piston in. All right. Got it in the wrong place. We've got a one too high. Slimes. There. Okay. Vector rail, minecart, sleep time. Plop her bed down and is all I made. Maybe not. Put it elsewhere. Too close to all the mobs. Alright, we can go ahead and tear down this scaffolding. Well, cobblestone scaffolding, scaffolding. Yeah, it's still scaffolding. Alright, and then build up around here with obsidian. Not sure how high it needs to be just yet. Definitely want to make sure it doesn't destroy our redstone. Should be far enough away not to hurt it. Alright, let's get back up there. Yes, it's TNT duper. Let's take these trees out around it so it doesn't snag on anything. All right, let's get our lever and stick it on here. All right, TNT duper works. Uh oh. Unfortunately, that's what happens sometimes with TNT dupers. Is it lands on something too close, and it breaks your TNT duper. All right, no big deal. I have to rebuild that, and then I'll have to put the wall up all the way around it, so we can't do that. Let's see, we need. All right, so I think I might just about have it. This is a very temporary wall until I get more obsidian. That seems to be okay. We're not losing redstone. There is one thing I forgot, and that is a uh, bone mill system, which I'm going to hook it up to the bone mill farm itself. But for now, we just need a uh, demonstration purposes system. So I've just got a few chests and some hoppers here. We'll go ahead and place those in. So hopper in that dispenser. Hopper in this dispenser. Hmm. If we can put that on top, or if we need to put it, I think we need to put it going in this way. With the chest. Now we just need to wire our ENT duper up to our power down here. Which to do that, probably go all the way around with it, I would say. Let's quickly place some things down. Make a path up there. All right, that should power it. We'll test it out real quick and make sure it does. Yes, it does. Let's not get too many explosions going on. All right, last thing to do, guys, is. I guess take this guy out and our raid bar dissipated, um, which means we lost the raid. That's fine. Kind of sucks. I was hoping to fight the raid after this project was done, but oh well. Anyway, let's empty out some junk from the inventory. Give this thing a proper test before we take these guys out. A lot of arrows. I'll just throw my arrows in there. That was a very intelligent idea. Hang on. Must have been the raid party. Alright, now what was I saying? Oh yeah, bone mill. Have quite enough here. We need a little more than that. Happen to have some extra. Alright, so we're going to put a little bone mill on each one of these. This one uses the least amount. I'm going to put the least amount in there. But I don't have much. I have to get on and process some of the bones at the skeleton farm into bone meal. But this is enough for us to test. Now, 
keep in mind that your logs are actually have to make it to the TNT to blow up. And hopefully I've got it about right where the TNT won't be landing on the logs. But rather in front of them. Sometimes it does take a while to get a tree, unfortunately. Ouch, can't stand there. Aha, we got our first tree. That's awesome. Very dangerous place to stand. It looks like our TNT is landing where I want it to, off to the sides a little bit, except that one. Might have to slow that down just a little bit more. I'm worried a piece is going to bounce off another piece and break our duper. Okay, guys, I actually went and got some more bone meal, so we could try to test it all the way. I like to get somewhere I can see and not get blown up. Something shooting me? I must have a pillager on my tail. Yep. Still a few around from that raid that got cancelled. But we technically lost because, well, we didn't fight it. Another one? Uh oh, now we're in a bad place. Okay, so. Pillager knocked me down into there. Hopefully none of our stuff got destroyed. And it all ended up in the chest over here. I'm not seeing all our stuff. Not in here. Still have a pillager up there as well. Might be working its way through the system. There's some, some of it. I have a feeling a lot of our stuff just got destroyed. Pretty much all of our netherite except our boots and our fortune pickaxe just got destroyed we're gonna go get a bunch of dogs and our dogs are gonna do this for us there we go get them boys it caused me to lose all my gear see if there's any more up here we can uh, stick our dogs on since we're a little lightly equipped good boys Okay, and I think our dogs have been successful in killing every single raid mob that was left. Alright, so I guess we can get back to testing since we know for sure all our gear is gone. That is a bummer. And I'm going to look under here just in case, but I doubt it. No, no gear under here. It's gone, guys. So we'll be taking a trip to the end soon, I suppose. Anyway, I'd say with some minor adjustments, guys, we can call this one a success. Might have to raise the floor of the collection chamber up some. So the logs are actually... So the TNT will actually land on the logs. I'm also stuck in here because I don't have an axe anymore. Alright. Okay, guys, and with that project is success and unfortunately losing a lot of very expensive equipment i think we're going to call this episode good my name's been simrex guys if you enjoyed this episode be sure to leave a like if you'd like to see more like this be sure to subscribe also if you want to support this channel go check out our donut link donut link donate link down in the description thanks for watching again you guys enjoy the rest of your day bye